Yo, what's going on guys and Miles Bridges is back in the NBA. Regardless of what you guys think of him, he's back and this is huge for the Charlotte Hornets. LaMelo Ball finally getting some help. So before we continue today's video, I want to hear your thoughts down below. What do you guys expect? Obviously, they didn't get the win. They got blown out by 31. But tonight you had Miles Bridges who actually was able to help out. Lamelo, who had 37 miles bridges had 17 off the bench two steals four assists five rebounds he went six of 13 from the field two of five from three got to the free throw line three times hit all of them he was coming in for gordon hayward and brandon miller and pj washington depending on the lineup washington gordon hayward and brandon miller didn't do crap it was really just Lamelo, mark williams and miles bridges and they they're going to need miles bridges ladies and gentlemen it was it was good because I think having Miles Bridges go out there, like having a bona fide, like actual score, who Miles Bridges, if you guys don't remember, the last time we saw him playing the NBA, this kid was a 20 points per game score, 49% from the field. He's only 25 years old. The other thing is, is that he for two years he was a 13 points per game scorer and that was primarily because he took like only 10 field goals a game and then he took like this massive jump this his last you know obviously season that he played before getting hurt so seeing him go out there and take his about 13 shots like maybe he doesn't average 20 points but maybe he's a 17 points per game guy who also people forget was was a good rebounder every single year of his career he went from being a four rebounder a game his rookie year to 5.6 then he went up to six and then he went up to seven like the guy can grab boards and obviously he's not much of a passer i mean he had four assists a game last time and he also had a bunch of assists game but we're not gonna sit here and be like i don't mean to say he's not much of a passer he's not a facilitator that he's gonna like be you know he's like a decent ball handler but he's not gonna be breaking people down and the thing is he's one of the more athletic guys in the league he's like six foot seven he's got 230 pound frame the guy freaking athletic as hell he the ball handling has improved and like he can kind of run pick and roll but i'm not gonna sit here again and be like he's like should be running facilitating the offense he's a high volume scorer like shooter he's just the three-point shots improving and he took a huge leap last we saw him but obviously you know having a six foot ten wingspan is helpful and he's a fun guy to watch and having LaMelo Ball next to him is huge. Or having him next to LaMelo Ball is huge. Because now, like, realistically, it just sucks that their roster is this inconsistent. Because with, you would think, I mean, P.J. Washington, Brandon Miller, and Gordon Hayward all shit the bed last night. And off the bench, you know, Ish Smith is getting way too much run. Can we also talk about that? Ish Smith is getting way too much run. And, I mean, it's not the first time that he's in Charlotte, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he was in Charlotte back in 21 to 22. And they brought him back. It's just interesting because I look at this and I think, okay, this is a team that they're trying to be more than a playing team. I mean, they fired James Borrego for being a playing team and not making the progress or, like, the jump that quick enough that they wanted. So, if they're going to... It's interesting to see where they're going to be at now with their current squad. But, I don't know. That's definitely where I want to hear your guys' opinions. How in much or how much entertainment has this NBA season given you? Because when I look at... Let's just talk about the Hornets real quick. Holistically, as a whole. What do we think of this team? Because... Ooh. It's it's interesting. Because I sit here and I think, hmm. What what could be? And not that I say what could be, but like I'm I get curious. Like in terms this team's supposed to be a playing team, but you come on. Steve Clifford. Steve Clifford, ladies and gentlemen. Is that going to be enough? Seriously, can that be enough? And watch, I'm gonna run over and be right back if you guys aren't even gonna notice. I think 
the whole thing with this team is like definitely interesting because oh, JT Thor, like they don't have a bench. Okay. The roster Kermlin, Lamello, Terry Rozier, Gordon Hayward, PJ Washington. Lamello, Terry Rozier, PJ Washington, Gordon Hayward, Brandon Miller, Miles Bridges, Mark Williams, Nick Richards. I mean, that's not a bad eight-man rotation. Then you throw in the ninth guy, Ish Smith. I'm fine with that. What do I think of that team? They're like a play-in team, right? I can't see them being better than that. Like, we're lying. They're not particularly great defensively. They're not particularly great shooting. Like, it's just such a hodgepodge of players that I can't sit here and give you a straight face and be like, oh, this is gonna work. Cause to me, I'm, I don't see it. And maybe I'm wrong, but I definitely look at it and it's just, definitely frustrating to see or it doesn't make sense to why they I personally I mean this this year it's just so feels like we're wasting Lamelo's youth I know Lamelo hasn't translated to wins but he's a decent basketball player he's got skill but Miles Bridges being out there and like winning and like not winning, but like looking like physically in shape to play basketball and playing well. He got a standing ovation. He had some mid-range jumpers. It's good. It's good to see that. I'm I'm happy. I'm enjoying it. And I think it goes to show that he kept in shape. You know, hopefully that season isn't a fluke. Hopefully he doesn't fall back down to being like this 13 points per game guy i think there's a lot of room for him to be a great player and yeah i'm i'm definitely curious to hear everyone's opinions down below in the comment section what do you guys expect and why about this team like are you guys as excited as i am with the potential that like once i mean like i said they have a decent nine-man rotation if everything gels and steve clifford's somewhat competent of a head coach then there's no reason why it shouldn't work right at least be a play-in team that's where they were last time miles bridges was on this roster and i feel like the team's technically a bit better since then i wouldn't sit here and be like oh that's 100 percent true but what i do believe is that this team has room to grow i'm excited to say the least that i'm a fan it's gonna be funny like when people watch this video and they see like how we we do this but yeah that's basically it for me i hope you guys did enjoy like comment subscribe